Hey, this is Jen. I'm now in Richland, Georgia, which was incorporated by the Georgia General Assembly in 1889. So we're going to go check this historic downtown out. All right, so this is now the City Hall and the Rail Museum, but it was Union Station. It was like 1913 it was established. But as you can see right here, it says City Hall, Rail Museum, Richland, Georgia, established in 1889. All right, so we're pretty much going to start off at the top of the street. So we have this building right here. I cannot read the top. It says, nah, I can't read it. But it's still, it's still a pretty old looking building. Down all the way in the center, it says H.L. Moore company right there and then there's something abandoned right there i don't know what that's supposed to be probably some type of store all right and then here's richland georgia itself and now we're about to go walk this i'm going to show you the historical storefronts and stuff like that all right we're going to start off with this building right here this is actually the richland masonic temple then right here in the middle of the street we have the pig fest uh brick cylinder thing <laughs> sign i don't know you know right here we have the richland post office all right this right here is going to be the historic cedarwood cemetery i'm going to show you the historic marker real quick all right here's the historic marker if you'd like to pause the video and read it you can now this building right here used to be the richland hotel and bank built in 1890 it is now owned by the richland distilling company where they make rum and stuff like that but that is still such a beautiful fucking building all right, here's some more historic storefronts. All right, and then this is also the side of that hotel. All right, looks like they have a little park right here. And some more historical storefronts. And look at that Richland Rum Distilling Company. I'll go up close with that. And this is more of the Richland Distilling Company. But if you see right here, this building was built in 1901. And it goes on down there. All right, here's some more of the other side all right now this is right here Stuart Webster journal established in 1850 published by Rollin Inc all right here's some more of the historical storefronts that were on uh, the side that we were just on and this right here is gonna be the People's Bank and look at that built in 1905 how cool is that and then here's some more historical buildings on the corner all right there's the store called Red's Pizza right here this whole building is like a mural really cool all right here's another historical marker if you want to pause the video and read it all right now if i'm not mistaken this is going to be the french house which was likely built somewhere between the late 1890s and the early 1900s now i'm pretty sure this house right here is the dixon house which was built in 1900 but it looks like it's changed over the years all right now this building is going to be really cool i'm going to show it to you real quick look at the sign right here and the rest of the building in the background all right look at this building look at that old chrysler right there my bad, a car was coming through. And that old golf pump right there, the old Coca-Cola sign. Look at this old Rexall building. And then there's this cool Rexall drug sign on the corner I'm gonna show you. Look at that old drug sign right there. That's the neatest thing. So I did find the abandoned hospital down there, down here, the Stuart Webster Hospital. Pretty sure it was built in about 1949 and wow like this is so fucking cool all right so we're up here at the front of it look at that that's just so cool abandoned yeah all right so that's gonna be it for richland georgia and we're gonna go on to the next city